exciting day. First USTA tournament. I'm pumped. It's on clay, which makes me a little nervous. I'm playing in the 3.5 division. Hopefully I can film all my matches. We will see. Regardless, I'm going to keep you updated. Excited to see where my game is at. We're six months into this tennis journey and playing my first tournament. Let's go. So we get off to the best possible start in the first game. I mean, couldn't have drawn it up better. I am playing out of my mind this first game and I get down 40-0, which is actually not the best start. It had me kind of nervous. I wasn't feeling very good. Um, with that deficit just being my first term, I was like, oh no, are the wheels about to fall off here? But thank goodness they did not fall off. And I start to settle in with my serve, which really is the only reason I can compete a lot of the times is my serve. So getting settled in there felt really good. The rest of my game starts to come together as well, and we get it to 40 all. Excited about this deuce. Another good serve. Another good serve. And we get our first game in tournament play. Um, playing on this red clay was so much different. The balls bounce so much higher. You can't move as well. I felt slower. Um, so, I'm not a huge clay fan. The bounces we were getting were, especially in later matches, were insane. But again, start to settle in, add more direction to my forehands, and catch another dub here to get up 2-0. Feeling pretty good about the way I'm playing. Again, main focus is preparing earlier. Right when I see that ball's coming to one side, making sure to get that unit turn, and when I do that, my game just improves exponentially. So that's a big focus for me moving forward is making sure to prepare early, get that big unit turn, drop that racket, get top spin. And I'm just gonna play better tennis that way. So we're up 3-0 at this point, and I'm feeling pretty good about the state of my game. And this is one of those times when I just kind of lose a little bit of focus and stop really trying to make balls, start trying to do some things that I shouldn't. That shot right there was just absurd. Um, I guess I didn't capture it on the points, but lose this one and get it to 3-1 and again, kind of lose my focus again, which is just not what you want. And it's something I'll, as I play more tournaments, I'll have to be more cognizant of. It's making sure to stay locked in when, when I'm playing these longer sets. So he takes it to 3-2 there, which at this point mentally, you know, I'm just like, I can't let this happen. I gotta stay focused. I got to capitalize on that 3-0 lead I got. So I start to lock in more mentally here and play better tennis. It's crazy how that works. It's just human nature. When, when the pressure gets put on, you just start to focus a little more, play a little bit better. That's a really good forehand right there. I was slicing it decent, but my form is still not great there. Um, that's something that I'll continue to work on as I add more things to my game. But big things I'm working on, obviously, are ground strokes and serve, and then I will move to the net after that. So I get the dub 4-2 and serve another good game. That is a really nice backhand for me, I'm not gonna lie. Really good serve, 
he was standing so far back, like at the fence, and I wanted to curious him the entire time. I didn't know if that was disrespectful or not. Let me know in the comments if that's something I should do. I was just like, he was begging for it. A little backspin, underhand serve would have gotten every time. Really nice backhand winner there from him. I feel like playing at the net is even harder than the clay because you just kind of slip and slide when you're trying to move your feet. But I take an L here, it's 5-3. Similar to that first game, I dig myself a hole in this one and get down. You guessed it, 40-0 again. I gotta get better at these super high lob balls. It's, it, it's kind of embarrassing how often I miss those, but yeah, I, I get down 40-0 here, and with him serving next, it's not a good feeling knowing if I lose this, I could get this to 5-5 and have to win two more games. Not a position you want to be in. But like the first time, I settle in and get it to deuce, people. I get it to deuce, and the camera cuts out and deuce because I run out of storage, but... I take the dub 6-3 and then we play another game like you do in tournament play or another set and I end up winning that 6-2 as well. First tournament match done. All right guys, first match recap. Started a little skittish, settled in, felt good. Next match at 145, I'm sitting down to eat, rest a little bit. I'm ready to get back out there. I was feeling good, settled in. So this is my lunch, not ideal. And then I used some time to edit the suit video, which if you haven't watched, go ahead and watch that. Guys, the second match, unfortunately, my phone ran out of storage again. This is my opponent. Here's some footage of us warming up. Um, sucks because this was a really, really good match. Um, I really wish I would have gotten this on camera, but instead I will have to recap it for y'all. My phone ran out of storage, so I was unable to record my second match. In lieu of that, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown. It is really hot in Austin. Right now it's 96 degrees. The clay got really dry. Bounces were insane. It was like playing on the beach. Started off playing really solid. I just wasn't making mistakes. Hitting really good forehands. Won the first set. 6-3. It was his first match. He hadn't played all day. Honestly, my cardio is pretty trash right now and I started to run out of gas. I get down 3-0 in set number two, but I just kept saying to myself, make more balls. Um, I get up 4-3 in a really, and so I'm feeling good, but I know I probably need to close this out. Lose a really tough game in Deuce to get it to 4-4. He's serving at 4-4, gets up 40-30, and I miss a really easy ball above the net that I should have put away. Coming back to my serve, I start down 30-0. Really struggling at this point with my cardio. I fight back, get it to 30-30 with two really nice serves. He wins a nice point, hits a winner down the line on a short ball that I hit. So at set point him, I hit a great serve. Great serve. He pops it up. Um, I sit and wait on it and crush a forehand to his backhand. He hits it so high, I come to the net, try to hit an overhead, shank it straight to him. Doesn't go very hard. He hits it straight to me again, right at the net. A softball. I again go for an overhead, barely hit it. Goes right back to him. This time he hits it right to my forehand side for a volley, a sitter ball, wide open. Could have hit a swing volley, could have just done a regular volley I go for the swing volley straight into the net really tough way to lose that set got a battle back in tie break but I was out of gas I get down 6-0 start clawing my way back to 8-4 end up losing 10-4 great experience with my first tournament I'll continue to play more of these USTA tournaments I'm sorry I didn't get any footage of that but I'm excited gonna keep playing more tennis we're feeling good winners only we're out. Thank y'all for watching. Peace.